Ah, oh, well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I felt really the need to go over a few things that I have actually discussed in the past, but uh, I think they need to be clarified for a couple of friends and people that I I know are uh, uh, interested in uh, travelling around on the uh, pensioner, or should I say seniors card, really, the excursion tickets in New South Wales for $2.50 currently. And I guess they'll go up over a period of the next few years, I just, but for now that's what they are. And I'd like to discuss uh, a few travel options and a few places to go. And uh, in addition to this, um, talking about going from into Victoria and talking about coming into Queensland from New South Wales, a few options there uh, that some people may not really have thought about. Uh, many people think about, for example, they get on a train in Sydney, they go to Melbourne. Uh, or they go from Sydney up to Brisbane. They might go to, uh, of course, you've got to go to uh, a casino and go across to uh, Tweed Heads and go via the Gold Coast. A lot of people are aware of that, but uh, there are other routes, um, including uh, one from Toowoomba through to uh, Lightning Ridge in New South Wales, and then of course, as I was saying earlier, the $2.50 ticket gets you from Lightning Ridge all the way down through uh, Dubbo, down to Bathurst, where you stay over, uh, over the road at the Victoria Hotel, and that's all for $2.50 as I said. And if you've got an Opal card, which I firmly advise everyone to get, uh, it's another $2.50, you touch on at Bathurst and get on the uh, bus at 8.09 in the morning, unless you want to get up bright and early and get that what's known as the Bathurst Bullet, which goes at 5.42, I think. Anyway, it's ridiculously early. Uh, on the weekends, by the way, it goes at 7.25 in the morning, which is a lot better. That's just incidentally. So, um, And that's all for $2.50. Now, um, a person might like the best excursion I can come up with on the two dollar fifty ticket is uh, Sydney to Bathurst on, on your Opal card. Staying a uh, book ahead within, you're allowed to book up to one week in advance on the uh, uh, train link coach and train services, where you have the uh, two dollar fifty ticket is available. I'm going to also discuss some of the um, issues are, are regarding the two zones. There's the, uh, the Sydney and outer regional zone and then there's the country zone. So I'll get on to that in a moment. But you would, uh, let's assume you book uh, a week in advance. You, you ring them up on the Monday and, or Tuesday for argument's sake and you say, well, next uh, uh, next Monday I'd like to go uh, Bathurst to Broken Hill and then on the Tuesday I'd like to go Broken Hill to uh, via Cobar and Dubbo to Bathurst. And then, of course, on the Wednesday, you go on the uh, regular services that are not booked, as I just said, for $2.50. That's all entirely, by the way, on a $2.50 ticket. Now, I have a friend who I've known for many, many years. I'm not dropping any names or, or, or whatever here, but he, he knows who I mean. And he did a trip uh, down to Griffith, and then he went right out to, to Mildura, getting there very late at night, and then he did another trip on that. He went down to Melbourne and so on and came back. But the idea is, he thought, well, let's, I want to try and do the Broken Hill at the same time, because anyway, he, he was aware how to do it, and they just take the bus, or in this case, you have to fly, from Bro uh, unfortunately, from Mildura to uh, Broken Hill. And I believe, by the way, and it's entirely my conclusion, that that particular route uh, would make a reasonable amount of money uh, when people are carried. If you had two or three people, it would make some money. Uh, but if they don't have any bookings from Broken Hill to Mildura or Mildura back to Broken Hill, it stands to reason to me that the, the company would say, well, we're not running the bus today. So my friend would turn up and, and be told, uh, the bus is not running today. And you say, uh, oh, and you get on a plane and you fly to Broken Hill. So the c clue here is to book well in advance on these things and they will run the service. And they'll mail you a ticket probably and uh, 
you, you turn up at Mildura and you can do that. But getting back on to how to do the Griffith and Broken Hill services on the same trip. Uh, I won't break it down as I've done on my last trip, which was in March, where they used $2.50 tickets and so on, but the smart way would be to go... Uh, you could go to Goulburn on the $2.50 or the, uh, the Opal card on a, um, on a Friday, for example, and then you could go Goulburn to Griffith on a Saturday. Now, on Sunday morning, there's a bus at 9.36 in the morning. Don't you love these timetables? Why isn't it 9.35? But anyway, it leaves there at that time and it goes to Cootamundra. Uh, and then you have a couple of hours in or so, nearly three hours in Cootamundra. You've got plenty of time to walk around, have a meal and all the rest of it. And there's a bus that goes across. It actually ends up going to Bathurst. But what you do, it goes through Young and Cowra and across to Orange. Uh, then you get off at Orange on a Sunday. Uh, you, you can book into the Great Western Hotel across the road from the railway station, which we were originally booked in with my friend John Boyle and I got, got in front of in touch with another friend and John Macaroni. I said, oh, we want something a bit better quality, we want an en suite and all that sort of thing. Big mistake. Uh, we got into the Canopolis Hotel at $144, which was a bit ridiculous in my opinion. Anyway, that's just by the way. So you book into the Great Western. Very plain and simple. No facilities in the room necessarily. I don't know if you can get rooms with facilities. But anyhow, you head off to Broken Hill. Now, the next morning, at quarter past four in the morning, there is the bus that goes to Co Cobar and, and Dubbo. You'll have plenty of opportunity to get on that. It's early in the morning, but you off you go with that. You get on the you book ahead. Book that and you book the XPT from Dubbo down to Bathurst. Once again, it's all $2.50, and the following day you're going to Sydney. Now, that's the way to do the Griffith and the Broken Hill at, on the same trip. Now, another thing I've mentioned to, uh, to my friend, and it's a little bit obscure in some ways, you've got to be online to, on the V-line timetables to track all this down. But there is a bus, and this only works one way, by the way. Griffith on Sunday mornings at 11.55 a.m., goes down through Tokemol and it ends up in Shepparton and then as a connection at Shepparton it goes to Melbourne by train. That is one of the alternative ways of getting to Melbourne. Another alternative way, in other words if you're doing a little trip around Victoria and you decided to come back via uh, Bairnsdale on the train, you can get a bus that takes you to Canberra but it's smart, you get off at Cooma and then you get a sensible time there, and you get into, into and you can leave Coomer in the morning, late morning, you go to Canberra, and then you continue on to Sydney. Or you can, can go via Nowra to uh, Sydney. That's just by the way. Now, one more thing I was going to discuss, and that's going, uh, it links into Queensland. I've touched on that before. And that, one that's worth looking at is uh, Tenterfield to Toowoomba. Uh, you could do that ideally uh, so you leave Sydney uh, Tuesday uh, you get into Toowoomba Wednesday afternoon and on Thursday morning there's the Westlander, the train from Charleville, which you would never travel overnight on because there's no sleeping car but it leaves at 7 o'clock in the morning and gets to about a 4 hour run into uh, Brisbane. Okay, So that's just another alternative way of going from Sydney to Brisbane. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd conclude in a sense by giving you some idea about these two zones we're talking about. There's the Sydney zone which goes from Sydney, in other words, as far north as Dungog on the north coastline and Scone on the main northern line. Now there's a gap deliberately built into those that system where there's no $2.50 between Dungog and Gloucester, the next station. But a person coming from the New South Wales border, say at Tweed Heads, can go all the way to Taree on a $2.50 ticket, stay overnight and go down by bus through to Tunkur and so on, end up at uh, Broadmeadow and get a train and go into Sydney on the $2.50, but it might cost you a second one. It's sort of, it could be 
crossing the zone there somewhere and you might have to get a second one but still very reasonably priced that's a way around that particular uh, break in the zones now the northern one is not very easy to get around uh, not worth bothering with in a sense so a person uh, might uh, want to use the uh, Opal card to get to uh, Musselbrook for example and then travel Musselbrook right uh, through to Glen Innes uh, and then come across through to Casino and Tweed Heads and go towards Brisbane that way or as I just mentioned continue right through to uh, Tenerfield and then go to Toowoomba and come in to Brisbane on the train. Now the, the other the, the handy one is Bathurst. It, it, both zones meet at Bathurst. It's perfect. You can get off one train and have stay overnight and get on the next one the next day for the two dollars fifty. Now down south, uh, you can only go as far as Goulburn on the two fifty, and there's a there's a gap between Goulburn and Gunning, and there's no practical way around it. But a person would get the half fare on a concession and go to say Cootamundra. And then the $2.50 applies all the way to Broken Hill or to Griffith or any of those, uh, and a number of, a whole series of destinations, by the way, are covered on the $2.50. Uh, another one uh, that I'm considering doing at some point is uh, the bus goes down through uh, Gundagai and Tumut to Batlow, and then the following day the, the bus can go around to Wagga, and that means you could travel to Melbourne from Wagga or uh, or go across to, for example, Chuka, and then stay overnight and travel into Melbourne. That's just yet another way uh, to do that uh, trip down to Victoria. So I, th I think, anyway, I've covered most of these issues, and if anyone would like to contact me and ask me some more ideas or, or, or ask questions or let's discuss uh, the various options around, uh, I'd be very happy to help you. So I hope that these ideas and these uh, tips let's say uh, for travel have been of some benefit to people and uh, uh, I hope you uh, enjoy uh, viewing it. Thanks for viewing.